If you are thinking about moving to Columbus, Ohio, you wanna love it, right? But you know what? I'm actually gonna get real with you and I'm gonna give you seven reasons why you might hate it here. channel where we teach you everything you need to know about relocating here to Central Ohio. So let's go through my list. Top seven things that you need to know before you relocate here. Be sure to stick around to my number one because it's kind of funny and you might already know what it is. Okay, number seven. If you are someone who likes predictable weather, this is not the place for you. I am so sorry, but the weather is so unpredictable here. There's a saying that we all say kind of in Ohio. If you don't like the weather, wait five minutes, because you know what? It's gonna change. And that is so true. Um, some days you can wake up, it can be beautiful out, blue skies. Um, you're going out, maybe you're going to the zoo, going to the park, going running, walking your dog. By noon, gray clouds are coming in. Then you start getting hail. Then it starts turning into snow. You come home, you start, you're getting ready for dinner, and then the sun comes back out again, and it's like 60 degrees. That is what it's like in Ohio. So if you want something predictable, you're not gonna find it here. What you will learn is whenever you're gone for the day, you wanna be prepared. So you wanna have an umbrella in your car. You wanna have layers, an extra jacket, um, you want to be prepared for what the day may have, but I will tell you, we do get all four seasons, which is pretty fabulous. We have spring, summer, fall, and winter. Um, so you do get all four seasons here in Columbus. All right, number six. If you only like shopping at big box stores, Columbus is not the place for you. Let me tell you, this is a buy local community. So if you like family owned restaurants, if you like local coffee shops, if you like handmade stuff, um, you're gonna find so much of that here in Columbus. But if you're only looking to eat at Applebee's and drink Starbucks coffee, this might not be the place for you. You will find it here, but we support our community. We support local. So what the other part of that is, if you don't like saying you're from Ohio, you're not gonna like it here. For example, let me, where are they? Okay, for example, what I mean by shopping local and supporting your community, this is what you'll find here. You'll find handmade hats with the state of Ohio on it. These are um, produced by one of my girlfriends, Shelly Lou Lids, and this is what you get when you come here. You're not getting the run of the mill stuff. So, real local. Number five. If you don't like old homes, you might not like it here. So we have some amazing old homes in architecture here. I personally, I love architecture. It's one of my passions, one of my hobbies. I just kind of love looking at the homes with all the great architecture, all the great character. We have so many of those available, specifically more towards um, the city. So we have Bexley, some of the most gorgeous houses um, that you can find that have so much character. Upper Arlington, German Village, all brick, cobblestone streets, gorgeous Victorian village, and you can imagine Victorian architecture. So you do have the opportunity to drive down there, to walk around there, do your local shopping, take in all of the old architecture. However, if old houses aren't for you, we definitely have an abundance of new builds and new construction around Columbus, um, special, especially when you're going north of Columbus as we're shooting up into Delaware County. It's actually the, one of the fastest growing counties in the nation, not just Ohio, but counties in the nation. 
tons of new build and new construction opportunities for you. Number four, and this one hurts. <laughs> this one hurts because I feel the pain. If you are looking for a place with low property taxes, unfortunately, you're not gonna find it here in Ohio, specifically the Columbus area. And that's unfortunate. Um, property taxes are high here. So what you need to do is you need to budget for that when you're home shopping. Um, you know, average is gonna be about $12,000, $8,000 going all a year, going all the way up into the 20s if you are in a million um, plus home. Very expensive. However, there is some good that comes with it. A lot of the reason the property taxes are so high has to do with the school taxes. And you'll know that we have a ton of good public schools. Not good public schools, but actually nationally ranked public schools and um, public school system. So I do have a video you wanna go back and watch that talks specifically about the schools in Columbus, but property taxes are high. However, there's some fantastic public schools that are associated with those property taxes. All right, number three has to do with your favorite color. If you do not like orange, don't move to Ohio. And I don't like orange. And what I'm talking about orange is orange barrels. We have so much construction um, on the highways. I mean, 270, 71, those are kind of the main outer belts, interstate expressways here in Columbus area. Always road construction, always orange barrels. So you kind of get used to it. It becomes part of the scenery. I mean, it's not crazy like it is in Chicago when we lived in Chicago with horrible, you know, commute times because of the construction. Just know there's always construction. There probably will always be a little detour and you're always gonna see orange barrels in the scenery. Okay, number two reason why you might not like living here. This might be a little odd, but if you don't like pear trees. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but around the springtime here in Ohio, we have these pear trees and they're very, very pretty. They're gorgeous. They're white, I'll throw up um, white flowers in the spring. It makes for a gorgeous scenery. However, they're invasive trees and they have a horrible smell to them. So you're gonna see all these pretty pear trees in the spring, white along Riverside Road, along um, Olentangy, along Riverside, along 315. You're gonna see all these beautiful pear trees. You know spring is coming, but if you get close enough, it really smells. They kind of smell like dead fish. So not so appealing. So yes, they look pretty, but it's not a good time to be out and walking around because it stinks. All right, are you guys ready for the number one? You really, really are not gonna like living here if you like Michigan. And I probably shouldn't say Michigan out loud. People usually say, Michigan, um, Columbus, Ohio, Ohio State, Michigan rivals. If you're here to cheer on Michigan, you're gonna have to be a little careful because we are scarlet and gray all the way, Ohio State. Um, I wouldn't be surprised after a year of living here if you yourself don't turn into an OSU fan. If you still think after hearing those seven things that Columbus might be the area for you, go ahead and watch my next video that I'm posting up here. I'm gonna talk about some communities that you might like, um, some neighborhoods specifically related to some that are on the golf course. So go ahead, watch my next video, and then also please hit the subscribe button, the little bell, so you get notified when new videos become available every week. All right, guys, have a great day. Talk to you soon.